good morning uh, everybody today we will uh, discuss about acoustic uh, neuroma one of the commonest uh, cp angle tumor so you should know after the class the objectives of the class is uh, like definition of uh, acoustic neuroma histopathology etiopathogenesis classification and clinical features and the management so what are the frequently asked questions about acoustic neuroma it can be asked as a um, short notes of acoustic neuroma or a main question also and sometimes uh, clinical features and uh, uh, in viva and uh, mcq's hitzelberg sign so these are the things you should know after the uh, class so definition uh, of acoustic neuroma is the it is the tumor of the eighth cranial nerve and it's also called as vestibular uh, schwannoma in ureal hemoma incidence uh, of the tumor uh, is uh, about uh, 80% this is the commonest uh, cp angle tumor and uh, it is uh, about uh, 10% of among all the brain tumors so pathology wise uh, grossly it is a benign uh, tumor and uh, it is a encapsulated one and it's a very slow growing tumor and uh, on microscopy it has got elongated spindle cells broad shaped uh, nuclei in rows and palisades so it uh, originates from the uh, schwann cells of the vestibular nerve and uh, rarely from the cochlear nerve and uh, <coughs> mostly mostly it is a uh, unilateral and uh, sometimes it is bilateral especially in the neurofibromatosis case so growth is very slow and causes widening and erosion of the internal acoustic meatus and appears in the cerebellofontaine angle and um, uh, usually when it grows entro superiorly the growth will be, uh, will affect the fifth cranial nerve and inferior growth will uh, compress upon the ninth tenth and eleventh cranial nerve and uh, later stages it displaces the brain stem and uh, it causes pressure on the cerebellum and uh, raised intracranial tension so the phases of the uh, tumor growth are uh, um, called as intracanalicular when it is inside the uh, internal acoustic meatus uh, then cisternal then compressive and hydrocephalic phases so classification wise uh, size wise like uh, initially it will be intracellular and uh, when uh, it is uh, less than 1.5 cm it is called a uh, small size and uh, between 1.5 to 4 cm it is the medium medium sized one and uh, more than 4 cm it is a large size so clinical features usually the it is seen in the between 40 to 60 years of age and uh, both are male and female are equally uh, affected slightly more uh, female uh, are uh, uh, affected and um, main symptoms will be the progressive unilateral sensory neural hearing loss and along with the tinnitus is the main presenting feature the hearing loss uh, is characteristically there is a marked difficulty in understanding the speech so this is a retrochlear hearing loss so that's why there is a marked difficulty in uh, understanding the speech so other other than that imbalance unsteadiness vertigo uh, sometimes sudden hearing loss and fullness in the ear patient may complain and uh, earliest nerve to be involved is uh, the fifth nerve uh, when it is out of the uh, internal acoustic meatus uh, um, uh, that causes reduced corneal sensitivity paresthesia of the face uh, uh, and uh, this involvement of this nerve uh, that is fifth cranial nerve uh, indicates that tumor size is around uh, or more than 2.5 cm and uh, it has come into the um, occupying this cerebellofontaine angle and when the nerve uh, grows uh, downwards uh, it affects ninth and 10th nerve which causes dysphagia and hoarseness due to palatal pharyngeal and laryngeal paralysis and other cranial nerves affected only when tumor size is very large cranial nerve involvement uh, other than uh, this nerves is uh, the facial nerve involvement so sensory fibers in the facial nerve are affected early and causes uh, hitzelberger sign that is the uh, hypoasthesia of the posterior meatal valve and uh, loss of taste um which can be detected by electrogastrometry and uh, reduced lacrimation which can be detected by skirmer's test 
motor fibers are affected late and uh, sometimes delayed blink reflex is the early sign brain when the brain stem is involved uh, patient may have also have ataxia weakness and numbness of arms and legs exaggerated tendon reflexes um, and raised intracranial tension will cause headache nausea vomiting diplopia and also papillary edema with blurring of vision when the cerebellar involvement is there the pressure in symptoms on cerebellum seen in uh, large tumors so revealed by the it can be revealed by finger nose test knee heel test this dad coccinesia ataxic gait and inability to walk along a straight line there is tendency to fall on the affected side what are the investigation we can do in the uh, in the uh, acoustic neuromyes pure tone audiometry which uh, shows the sensory neural hearing loss speech audiometry where uh, the patient will have difficulty to uh, recognize the words and um, recruitment phenomena is absent here and uh, short increment uh, sensitivity index will be between 0 to 20% and the threshold tone decay test uh, will show the retrocochlear type of lesions when you do the caloric test there is a diminished or absent response in 96% of patients and uh, maybe normal when the tumor is uh, small and other neurological tests like uh, you have to do uh, complete cranial nerve examination cerebellar functions and uh, brain stem signs pyramidal uh, signs of pyramidal and sensory tracts and fundus examination is also important sometimes you may see the papillary edema and um, radiological tests like plain x ray usually positive in 80% of patients and other uh, different views are like uh, you can take the transorbital uh, stenworth stones view submento vertical view and um, vertebral angiography which will help in um, acoustic neuroma differentiating acoustic neuroma from the other tumors ct scan is also more uh, sensitive than x ray and can you even detect the intramedial and posterior fossa tumors mri with gadolinium contrast is the gold standard investigation it can even detect intracranial tumors of very uh, small uh, like a very few millimeters and uh, staphylococcal reflex uh, decay test can be done and other tests like bera uh, brain evocated response audiometry shows a delay of 0.2 milliseconds in wave 5 uh, uh, between 2 uh, years uh, if the adrenal involvement is there and csf examination where the protein level may be raised usually puncture lumbar puncture is avoided and um, other investigations uh, totally like uh, you can um, work up for the work up of the acoustic neuroma pure tone audiometry speech discrimination score low roll over curve stepdial reflex decay um, bera brain evocated response audiometry mri with gadolinium gadolinium contrast are the gold standard test and uh, other differential diagnosis for this uh, acoustic neuroma are meniere's disease and uh, other tumors of the cp angle like meningioma epidermoid um, arachnoid cyst uh, schwannoma of the other cranial nerves aneurysm glomus tumor uh, metastasis so treatment part when coming to treatment part we have a surgical and a radiotherapy so surgical is the treatment of choice uh, so there are different approaches for that middle cranial force approach trans labyrinthine approach suboccipital approach and uh, combined trans labyrinthine suboccipital approach but uh, most of the time uh, radiotherapy is used uh, where the patient is not willing or some contraindication for the surgery uh, conventional radiotherapy nowadays uh, it's not uh, used and um, there is a uh, x knife or gamma knife uh, surgery and cyber knife uh, x knife or gamma knife surgery is a stereo tactic uh, radiotherapy advantages of it is a minimal radiological effect uh, side effects and uh, causes a reduction in tumor size and growth and can be uh, used in patient where surgery is not feasible and uh, it, it can be done by with a linear accelerator or gamma knife through cobalt 60 and uh, conventional uh, radiotherapy is not preferred uh, due to low tolerance of cns2 radiation cyber knife uh, is uh, like a modified x knife and it is more accurate and frameless and uh, real time image guidance will be there through the computer controlled robotics so this 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 is about the acoustic neuroma uh, thank you very much